what I love to do when I'm looking at CVs is I like to look at your code from one month ago, six months ago, and I want to see that it's different to your code now. So when you go in for that interview, 90% yeah. got the job already. Personal brand, really, what's that all So about? with all the social platforms, GitHub, yeah. LinkedIn, mm. Instagram, Facebook, I'm sure I'm forgetting five others, but... <laughs> It's really good to have some content out there. Seeing your name on a CV is one thing. Yeah. Looking on your GitHub, seeing some code is another thumbs up. Yeah. What I love to do when I'm looking at CVs is I like to look at your code from one month ago, six months ago, and I want to see that it's different to your code now. So I'm not so interested in how good your code is now. All I want to know is that your code is better than it was six months ago or three months ago. So I can see that you're continually improving. So what if I'm only following a tutorial? That's, That's not really going to show. Because you'll still put your own twist on it. So if right. you're following a tutorial and they say make a, a blog post page, yeah. do that, but then maybe make a job post page and just twist it ever okay. so slightly was, and okay. you'll learn so much more by doing that. And, you're, and it's not so obvious that you're following a tutorial. Well, not that it's not so obvious, but it's just it's that a little I bit different. I can actually interpret what, exactly. I'm, what I've been following exactly. so it shows some sort of understanding, underlying understanding. Exactly. And then okay. videos like this take you that step further. If people search your name, of course they're going to Google you. And oh my God. they see what they what comes up. If they see a little video clip of you, even if this was just, say, 10 seconds, mm. they can see that you're presentable, you're articulate, mm -hmm. and that just means a lot, right? They can, okay, this person we can put in front of clients, we can put with our team, we can put whatever the tech role is. Yeah. But it just, again, another tick in the box. They're like, you know what? So when you go in for that interview, 90% yeah. got the job already. This is definitely a mind change thing because I come from a different time when... Um, everything that I did, it was I. I was in control of my data. I was in control of uh, what people could see about me. And now you have to sort of market yourself. You, you do. To, you do. It, in, and I think by doing that, it just makes other people have my data and then choose to. You still put out what you what you want. You don't have to say more than you don't want to. But it's more the technical side. You want to say more about your passion, what you like in tech. Do you yeah. like JavaScript? Do you like TypeScript? Whatever it is. It's just, again, showing that passion and standing out a bit more. So you don't have to share your address, your PIN no, number. No, like, of course so not. So it's still like the, the business side of things. So you're going to come across someone who you might not get on with for whatever reason yeah. and you disagree. If they put something bad about you, like, oh, I was really annoyed, etc. I had a terrible discussion with them. Yeah. If you don't have a personal brand, they're defining your personal brand oh, for you. Okay. Whereas okay. if you have your own personal brand, when I search for it, all your stuff's going to come first. And that message is going to be within a day or even an hour gone. Right. So you're defining your own personal brand, not letting others define it for you. I like that. Okay, thank you. Really good advice. No problem at all. Okay. Thank all you. Right. That was awesome. Yeah. That was a lot longer.